music. It's Alex Jones. The Democrats officially are circulating plans for government takeover of the Internet. That is now official. But let's go through. So there's 884 dislikes on this article. And then if you scroll down, 607 likes. Even though they're force-feeding it, it says... If fake news is being taken down, why is this channel still here talking about CNN that, by the way, had less subscribers than I did? The main reason they wanted me down, that was embarrassing. Jim Morrison, whoever controls the media controls the mind. There's a war on for your mind, folks. Womp, womp. Maybe Fox will give them a platform. They already tried. F CNN. Not a fan of InfoWars or Alex Jones, but this is political censorship done by corporations, and it needs to stop. This is a new low, and I will fight tooth and nail even for someone as Alex Jones' right to free speech. You mean the, well, thank you, Diana, but that's that's the straw man they built. That's not the real Alex Jones. L let's go back. And by the way, that's what's critical here, is that they always censor someone like the Jews in the Nazi Germany or the Quakers in Nazi Germany before they absolutely rob them and then kill them. So people are pissed. They see what's happening. And, and, and the intel I got was they're going to build this to build anger at CNN, MSNBC, Google, Facebook. They're going to pick a campus or some side group or some live event. Then they're going to have people they've wound up, they're protecting, attack it. They're going to then say they did it for Internet freedom and sell the idea that, see, Trump was wrong, Alex was wrong. We do have to censor. It's their fault. Because they see whatever's in America and the existing free market capitalist system that's got its problems, but it's perfect compared to them. They see it as the enemy in a existential overthrow. So they have cr taken over the internet, got us all to advertise that we're on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. Let us push all our energy to them to make them number one for years and to make them 90% of the web. And now they're using that monopoly power to crush everyone and strangle it and say, socially conform to us, and we won't censor you. So most conservatives went, fine, what is the token of travel? They said, we want you to attack Alex Jones. People were told this. Don't promote Alex Jones. In fact, attack him. And we'll let those videos go viral. So everyone, from former members of my family to people I've known and done nothing to, lined up to attack and demonize me for a year and a half to set the precedent. Then they moved to the next person. Okay, now it's Candace Owens. Get rid of her. Now it's this person, and then everybody gangs up on them. Billions of views and 2.5 million subscribers, and all the work about GMO and glyphosate giving you cancer, and, and, and all the amazing interviews with, like, Gore Vidal. And, uh, my point is, is what they said we were wasn't even what we were. Hey, remember InfoWars? Remember News Wars? Remember President Biden? Man, the guy they're scared of, the guy they demonize, the guy they don't want you to know about. What is it he's talking about? Well, he was an evil American that learned about a global government plan. He was an evil American that learned about a plan to break up the family. He was an evil American that learned about a plan to make us all poor, that Bill Maher even admits. He was an evil American that, that had to be taught a lesson. So we cherry-picked a few things he said over the years and misconstrued it and, and built it all up as the pretext to then set the precedent. Everybody else will sit there and go, well, Alex Jones, you know, he bullied the families at Sandy Hook, blah, blah, blah. Totally out of context, not true. And, you, and, they, and the media just keeps saying it. Well, he keeps doing it. He, he won't stop. He, he keeps doing it. He, and he bullied another child. Something he cannot you know, we will beat these globalists if people wake up and if they take action. But if they don't, we're going to lose everything. It's that simple. I mean, they're, they're coming for everything we've got. They think we're soft, dumb Americans that spend half our time in front of screens every day. And they don't want us jacking into the matrix. Take the Matrix analogy like an attack ship trying to send people in to get people out of it. And they used to be arrogant. Oh, they'll never listen to Jones. So what if he's got more viewers and listeners than us? We don't want to admit that because our sponsors might leave us. Your sponsors are big megacores. They're not going to leave you because you're falling. They're going to increase your funding. And you figured that out. But they had a price. There is a price, barbarian. And you said, what's the price? Advocate all truth.
submit to evil, become instruments of corruption, instruments of racketeering, call for censorship, spew out endless lies and destroy your competition even as you defame them. Only then will you be powerful enough. And of course, when you're done, they're going to close up shop. And there'll only be a few major media outlets and one centralized system and talking points that are put out. And then anyone else that criticizes, they'll have the global social score, the mark of the beast, where if you don't play ball and actually cheerlead on the platforms, then you will suddenly lose your job. You will suddenly lose your wife, your husband. You'll suddenly lose your kids. You'll lose uh, all the little special deals you can get in the giant casino gulag in the sky to first demonize me, build a straw man I'm not, trick conservatives, nationalists, others into, into turning against me. So when they get picked off one by one, everyone else is trained. Well, I'm not getting grabbed right now. You're not a sardine, folks. You're not a, you know, you're not a minnow. They all get in little schools together hoping they're not the one that gets grabbed next. But people don't know what's hitting them because these tech giants act like we're a rat in a maze. We are not rats. We are human beings. We can overcome this and we will defeat it. Back to David Knight. But they're coming after Trump. They're coming after Trump. They're, they're making their move. This is the demarcation line. This is the flare in the sky. This is the red balloon. We know it's coming. This is their revolution against free market in the West. This is the slave masters thinking they can take down our open society. China's literally running Google and Apple. Uh, Google's real definition is be truly evil, be truly anti-American. You see what the colleges corporate run put out, SJWs that are anti-free speech. That's the facts. That's the reality. Newswars.com, Infowars.com, the free apps. Everybody share them to the four winds. We can defeat them. And again, thank God, just like the left has no free speech on colleges and bullies everybody and then bullies you off the colleges, just like they want control of your children, they want it all. They want you not me. They didn't just take my podcast off. They took all our others. They took Owen Schroyer's off. They just said, you, you bullied a child. You were transphobic. You were Islamophobic. We don't even show you what we say. We just, you're now off everything because we organize the left to lobby for it and to call for it and to pillory and to have lawsuits concerted with it to demonize you. This is the plan, but the number one most important thing you can understand is this. This is about you. This is about shutting you up. This is about coming after your free speech. This is about the big enchilada. Period. And so there we are going, yeah, Trump, lower our tax corporate from 40 to 15 so businesses stay here. And he did it, and China goes, we're going zero. Move here. You can execute and kill your employees. We have unlimited slaves. And Apple and Google went, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler, beyond Hitler. Think about that. I mean, if they don't, workers in China run their mouths, they get killed. And their body gets butchered for the state. Beyond, so they didn't a horror movie or some network, you know, special you're watching. I remember when the Black Mirror, I've only seen a few episodes of it. Everybody kept saying, oh, I read one of your articles from four years ago. Is, 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 is did, did you write the Black Mirror piece? It's about a global social score and everything you do is tracked. You've got to be a cheerleader for the system or you get, you know, everything cut down to you basically starve to death. And I said, no, that's the plan. See, so then Hollywood makes a joke out of it to actually condition you and get you ready for it. So that's where you're going. And a lot of people at the New York Times and at BuzzFeed and other places have said, hey, I love The Matrix. Just make me somebody famous in it, and I want steak. They're all celebrated because they're the liberals. They control things. They were at the university. They make $30,000 a year, but they get to destroy things. And they get to screw up minds, and they get to feel like they're part of the power structure. Uh, I don't wish to be part of your masquerade, okay? I'm for real your attempt to celebrate my censorship shows how disconnected you are. I'm not glad this is happening because I want to get the word out and help people, especially on GMOs and the dangers of vaccines. God, there's a bunch of articles out of Indonesia, you name it, where all these kids are dying from the vaccines. Government leaders' kids are getting sick from them. I want to show people Harvard studies on fluoride lowering IQ. That's really what's sad about the billions and billions of views on our YouTube channel, Blown Away, interviews with my grandmother who's dead now. A lot of stuff that 
without being able to search engine it or dig through my archives here, I'll never see again. Or, hey, I want to see my dead French bulldog captain playing in the yard with a ball. Now long gone. That's only on my YouTube. I shot live streams of it. So that stuff's all completely blown away. They just burned a giant library of 36,000 videos. They just blew them into the outer space. YouTube. You come here, you're popular, and they buy up everything that's about citizen journalism or citizen action or human action. They buy it all up, and they turn it into corporate tube. Garbage tube. You know, my, my feed says breaks but gut over here, but I didn't get any feed, so I guess they just cut the feed off. I don't know anymore. Who the hell cares? Whatever. Eh, who cares? The clock's working around here. Hell, like I said. Anyways, they're going to shut the economy down, and they're going to break everything down for massive social engineering, and you're going to wish to God you've done something later. Everybody better wake up, and they better realize what's going on. They better understand it. Everybody's too cool for school, though. But thanks to Drudge and others who actually care. Whatever happens, we're going to win in the end because communism always collapses.